On October 22, 2024, the Indian Army successfully concluded the extensive Swavlamban Shakti exercise at the Babaina firing range near Jhansi. Spanning six intensive days from October 17 to 22, this exercise mobilized over 1,800 military personnel, showcasing a wide array of resources, including armored vehicles and aviation support. Aimed at testing new technologies developed by India's defense industry, the exercise aligns with the National Atmanirbhar Bharat Initiative, which emphasizes self-reliance in defense capabilities. The Swavlamban Shakti exercise was notable for its incorporation of lessons learned from the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, integrating advanced technologies such as swarm drones, anti-drone jammers, and resilient communication systems. These innovations are crucial for adapting to modern warfare tactics and enhancing troop resilience against contemporary threats. Organized by the White Tiger Division and the Sudarshan Chakra Corps, a strike unit based in Bhopal, the exercise attracted the attention of high-ranking military officials, including Lieutenant Generals Dheeraj Seth and Pritpal Singh. Their presence highlighted the strategic importance of this event in shaping the Indian Army's future combat doctrines and demonstrated high-level support for the adoption of new battlefield technologies. Among the advanced technologies tested were over 50 systems provided by major industry partners, including the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, and Tato Advanced Systems, along with several emerging defense startups. Key innovations included Swarm and Kamikaze Drones these were deployed for precision strikes and reconnaissance missions, showcasing the effectiveness of unmanned aerial systems in modern combat. Logistics drones, these facilitated rapid troop resupply in contested areas, demonstrating the potential of automated solutions in enhancing operational efficiency. Handheld anti-drone jammers, these provided critical defense against aerial threats, reflecting the growing concern over drone warfare. One of the standout technologies featured was the tracked hybrid modular infantry system, Themis, an unmanned ground vehicle UGV, procured from Estonia's Milrem Robotics in 2022. Themis showcased its versatility in various combat scenarios, particularly in the evacuation of injured soldiers. The exercise also emphasized the importance of advanced communication systems, including software-defined radio networks for secure real-time communication and laser-based systems designed to resist jamming. Furthermore, other notable technologies such as directed energy weapons and long-endurance UAVs enhance the Army's surveillance and aerial defense capabilities. On the ground, robotic mules and all-terrain vehicles were employed to support troop mobility and logistics. These technologies were integrated into combat simulations focusing on tactics, techniques, and procedures TTPs, aimed at revolutionizing the Indian Army's approach to modern battle scenarios. An additional event, the Southern Star Drone Fair, held on October 21st and 22nd, showcase drones and anti-drone technologies developed by micro, small and medium enterprises, MSMEs, startups and defense innovators, further highlighting India's commitment to advancing its defense capabilities. Swavlamban Shakti reflects a deliberate analysis of the conflict in Ukraine, where new technologies have played a central role. Inspired by these insights, the Indian Army has adopted swarm and kamikaze drones, automated logistic solutions, and anti-drone jammers. This alignment with technologies observed in Ukraine aims to bolster defenses against aerial threats. The significance of reconnaissance and precision strike capabilities evident in Ukraine has driven the Army to test long-endurance UAVs and automated logistical support for contested zones. Furthermore, the deployment of jam-resistant communication systems underscores the necessity of maintaining secure communication lines in electronic warfare, a prevalent aspect of the Ukrainian battlefield. The close collaboration between the Indian Army and the private sector, particularly local enterprises, forms part of a broader modernization strategy designed to anticipate and counter future threats. The emphasis on technological self-reliance under the Atmanirbhar Bharat Initiative positions India as a key player in defense innovation. By integrating these advanced technologies into its operations, the Indian Army demonstrates its commitment to tackling the challenges of contemporary warfare and enhancing its strategic autonomy in an increasingly complex security environment. In conclusion, the Swavlamban Shakti exercise marks a significant step forward in modernizing the Indian Army, aligning it with global defense trends while fostering indigenous capabilities. As the military landscape continues to evolve, such initiatives will be crucial in ensuring India's preparedness for future conflicts.